Uh, quick, anyway, quick question for you, Jr. Um, we we've had a number of pro Second Amendment rallies here in New Hampshire, uh, more towards the warmer weather, just past now. Uh, but a lot of people would show up with holstered uh, um, revolvers or um, you know handguns. Oh. Some people will, will uh, have worn their their rifles as well, slinged over, over the shoulders, obviously. Um, is it going to be that kind of a rally? Is that something that you are asking people to do or asking them not to? So I'm never going to tell a person not to carry a firearm. Okay. I will recommend people carry firearms concealed. It's a, tactically, it's a better solution. It um, doesn't paint you out to be a target. And in terms of messaging to the media, uh, if you're carrying concealed versus having an AR-15 or an AR-10 slung over your back, um, it's a lot easier to make the statement, we're not here to threaten anybody. We're here standing on our soapbox as opposed to standing with our ammo box in hand um, to make a point politically. The message needs to get out that Scott Brown does not represent New Hampshire. Um, there may, if things continue the way they are, there may be a day or a time where firearms and ammo are necessary. It happened in the Revolutionary War. I'd like to think we're not there yet, but as things continue to unravel, that may be the next step. Let's stand on our soapbox this time and get out there with orange vests and jackets and hats and make a big deal about this is not New Hampshire. Scott Brown does not represent New Hampshire. He's a carpetbagger from another state, and we need to find a New Hampshire citizen um, who can stand up and represent our values in Congress. And we're-